Hello, it's Jan here. Today I want to talk about Logic Pro for iPad. Apple recently released Logic Pro for the iPad. I decided to check it out and I am totally blown away with it. It made me even buy the Mac version. So, why was I so impressed by uh, Logic Pro for iPad? There are two main reasons. The first reason is the awesome step sequencer that Logic Pro has. You see, I don't actually play any instruments, but I program all my music using step sequencers. I love doing that and I have hardware step sequences for it. And up until now, I always preferred using hardware step sequences. And that is because of sausage fingers. No digital audio workstation on the iPad. And believe me, I tried quite a few. Let you enter notes that easily with just your fingers. It is mostly piano roll editing and it always gets very fiddly very quickly. It takes lots of times to get the notes right. This is good enough when you record your music on a keyboard and then fix a few mistakes but it's not very good if you compose entire pieces just by entering the notes one by one. So, until, up until now, most digital audio workstations on the iPad just sucked for me and I just preferred hardware. The step sequencer in Logic Pro is the first step sequencer that is completely integrated in a DAW and that does not feel fiddly for my fingers. When you first open it, it looks very big and lo looks unusable because the rows are really big and you have to scroll to see all of them. But you can actually remove rows and keep just one row in your preset and save that preset and then add the rows when you need them. On top of that, the uh, step sequencer has also uh, very interesting features. So you can have note probabilities, you can have different loop lengths for each row. You can have tight notes and you can have repeats. The, the feature list is actually very long. It's a deep step sequencer, very powerful. So this step sequencer made me really enthusiastic about Logic Pro, but the second reason why I uh, really think it is a perfect storm for me is that uh, there are very, very interesting MIDI effects possible. I use MIDI effects a lot because they are complementary to my technique of just writing the notes in the sequencer. MIDI effects are little programs that run whenever you play a note, so they might change the pitch or the volume of the note played in a random way. Or So you can spice your static composition up by using the MIDI effects. And you can also use the MIDI effects to completely generate entire melodic lines using just code or an algorithm. So when I tried out Logic Pro for the iPad, I discovered there was a quite intriguing MIDI preset called Scripter. And I thought, what is that? So I looked into it and actually it turns out that you can write your own MIDI effects in JavaScript. Unfortunately, you cannot do that 
on the iPad right now, but you can do it in Logic Pro for the desktop. And yes, that intrigued me so much that I decided to buy Logic Pro for the desktop and try it out. And it's actually amazing. It, it strikes a really, really good balance between coding complexity and getting music out of it. Because I actually don't like programming, using programming languages to make music a lot. Because when I first started uh, making music, I, I really thought I would like that. But actually music is my hobby and my job is also computer programming. So if I use programming languages to make music, that kind of defeats uh, the purpose of music being a hobby. So I should actually stay away from using programming languages in music because that's not so relaxing for me, but I always feel attracted to frameworks or hardware devices or programming language that actually allow me to make music because well programming is also such a lateral way of thinking for me this time when i investigated how scripter in logic pro works i actually thought this might be a, a perfect balance for me between simplicity of the code and expression power and I, I, try, I decided to take the jump and try it out and uh, I bought Logic Pro for desktop and indeed I really 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 like it. The reason why I really like it so much is it is extremely simple Yet it is also extremely expressive, especially if you take into account that you can use this very powerful step sequencer together with these effects. It does not take a lot of coding. The language is a language I already know. And once you copy it over to the iPad, you can use them without ever looking at the code again. So that is really good for me. Well, okay, that was all that I wanted to tell about it for now. And uh, for the rest of this video, there is some uh, generative music. It's not too deep. It's really just me fiddling around in the user interface and uh, already using some of my own MIDI effects, but uh, these MIDI effects actually don't do quite a lot. But I just was trying things out and I got the results very quickly and I'm happy to put something in the video so that you can see what or hear what I'm talking about. That's it for now. Bye.